Hi there, it's Rob from Akai Professional, and today we're looking at the brand new update for the MPC series. The first thing to look at with this brand new update is the fact that they've included three built-in synths into the unit now. So beforehand you could use a lot of samples, you could use a collection of beats to make things from sounds within the unit, but now they've included an actual synthesizer, which means there's no reason to move away from the unit. These synths have been designed by Air Technology, so they've all been purposely made for the unit. Let's have a quick look. When you look at the display, you can now see a plug-in logo, which is second in on the track. Once you've selected it, you can then see at the bottom, you've got your program or your plug-in program. So if I select tube synth, you can see I've got three options here. So baseline, electric, and tube synth. All have got a huge selection of presets built into it. So you can simply select the plugin, choose the preset, and go from there. So let's choose tube synth. I've got the preset polygrain selected. So if I scroll down, you can see all of the presets within the synth patch or synth bay. And then here I've got a selection of different subcategories for you to dive into to find the sort of sound you're after. Once I've selected that, I can use the pads to go through and play the sounds. If I go to my pad perform, which was on the previous version, I can start playing chords. So already it's, it's given you a, a big enough sound straight out of the box that you can start developing these ideas with full, high quality sounds. So from there, if I wanted to edit the sound I've got, I go to Program Edit, and you can see here I've got a full visual control of the synthesizer like you'd find in any DAW. So if I go through the pages, you can see that I have all of my parameters available to me. So if I wanted to change this or change the oscillator, I can go to my cue link over this side, which is pre-mapped to that particular feature, and I can twist it and it will change as I move it. Just change the, that there as well. So straight away you can see how easy it is to manipulate the sound without having to use the old submenus or using the old parameters. It is extremely easy. We've quickly looked at the tube synth which is built in there from Air Technology. There is also two others from Air Technology built into the system. Let's quickly take a look at the baseline. So here if you load it from the program, you can see that there is a ton of presets here. So if I just quickly scroll up and down, you can see there's a lot to choose from. If you want to go for something of a sub, let's go into there and just go for a simple sign. That sounds pretty good already. So let's just go into the program edit. As you can see here, it is extremely well laid out. And quickly select all the parameters and adjust it to get the sound that you're looking for. So when you're happy with the bass sound, you can record it on top of the project. I'm gonna quickly jump into the pad perform mode to use the scale feature. The last of the three plugins to look at is electric. This is designed to be more of an electric piano sound or organ, that kind of environment. Same setup, so you go into the plugins, you choose electric, go to program edit. You've got a really well laid out display which makes it extremely easy to change the sound or manipulate it to the tone you're looking for. Let's just go through a few of those presets. You can look at the built-in effects, which means that the effects within the unit have all got presets to work from, which means you haven't got to start with a blank canvas effect. To quickly show you that, you go to your inserts, choose your effect, and then you can see at the top there's a drop-down menu 
So if you select, you can choose a preset, which means that you have a basis to start with. Another thing to look at whilst we're in the effects is that the actual effects themselves have had a facelift. You can see that they've got a full color background, which makes it look like a, a real rack effect. We've also improved the Q-Link on the units. That means that it's much easier to operate inside of the piano roll, offering a much easier workflow. So using the Q-Link on the live, just pressing the button allows you to skip through the mapped features. That means you can change the loop length, you can change the start point, as well as the grid, which means you can change that just by twisting the dial. With the X, you'll be able to see it on the OLED displays. So this edition is possibly the biggest in the update. What this is going to allow you to do is auto sample. So what I have here is a synthesizer, which I can then come up with uh, the sound or, the, or do the sound design on the synthesizer. And then the MPC is going to allow me to auto sample it. So that essentially is going to send a MIDI note via the MIDI leads into the synthesizer. And then the synth is going to play back into the MPC and that's going to be recorded and put together into a program, so a multi-sampled program. Just to show you the sound I've got on the synth. I can play with that, wait until I'm completely happy with it. That sounds okay to me. I can then go to my sampling window. Obviously it looks very similar to how it did before the update, but what you can see here is a small logo of a keyboard with a little plus sign. That is your auto sample button. So if you go ahead and press that, that opens up the auto sampler menu. So to start with, you can see where I'm recording from. So input one and two, which is where I'm plugged into. And you've got a note range, minimum C3, C4. I'm just gonna do the one octave, so that's fine, but you can go higher or lower, depending on what you're sampling. And you've got the note stride. So if you're playing multiple notes or it's got an arpeggiation, you can pick that up as it goes through. Velocities here underneath, you've got layers. So if you've got a sound which has got multiple hits or it's gonna have a deeper line to it with different velocities or the pattern changes throughout, you can change the layers and the velocity value associated with that layer. In terms of the sampling, you can choose the note length and the tail, the file name, and then looping, which is a really good feature that allows you to loop the end of the sample. That means if you have a really long held note, you can have that looping at the very end, which means it's got a longer sustain or keep being held as you hold the key. There is a few different options, so you can alternate, so it will go either forwards or back, or just reverse. So they get some really cool textures if you reverse some synth shots, meaning that you can come up with your own samples based off recorded samples. You've got the X fade type on here as well, which means that you can neaten up the looping. If it doesn't quite loop, you can smooth it over. I'm happy with those settings, so I'm gonna hit OK, and it's gonna go through and play the notes automatically for me. So now that process is completed, we now have a playable version or recording of the synthesizer which I can use in my project. So that is incredible to think that that was just a synthesizer which I've recorded in, but how easy it was. It was just a few presses of the screen and I've got this saved into the unit. Now that has been completed, you've got the sampled notes put together into a key group program, which means I can now process them with the inbuilt sounds. I'm gonna grab a reverb from the inbuilt effects. And now with the redesigned look, it makes it so easy to use. The auto sample feature is extremely powerful. It's essentially allowing you to sample any synthesizer. If you wish to sample a VST, that can also be achieved with this unit connected to the MPC software. Simply select the MPC software's auto sample feature, sample the VST that you're using, and then save it as a program 
back onto the MPC Live or X. This was an overview of the brand new update for the MPC Live X and software. For more information on this as well as any other Akai products, please visit the Gear for Music website. Thank you very much.